The 1st of May brings big changes in Las Vegas. Casinos can now operate at 80% capacity. The city was down on its luck during the pandemic this past year, but as Anna Werner reports, it's betting on brighter days ahead. It's a welcome sight in Las Vegas. Tourists, sightseeing on the strip and gambling inside casinos. It's great to be out and be able to see everybody. Last year was tough. The number of visitors dropped nearly 40 percent. Gaming revenue plunged 43 percent and unemployment skyrocketed to a record-breaking 34 percent. Economic analyst Jeremy Aguero. Oh, well, the pandemic was catastrophic for our community. COVID caused shutdowns, forcing business owners to adapt fast. In October, developer Derek Stevens unveiled the Circa Resort and Casino, downtown's first new hotel in 40 years. You had the remarkable experience of opening your hotel in the middle of a pandemic. And how did that go for you? It's kind of funny. I hope myself and my team might be the only people ever to be able to say that. The summer, August, September, October was pretty busy here. And then all of a sudden, you know, we had a little bit of a spike in cases throughout the country. And that slowed things down in December and January. Along with the tourists, one third of service jobs vanished here. Bellagio employees Sean Arthurs and Lydia Gonzalez say they're glad to be back at work. What has this year been like for you? It's been like a roller coaster, but um, now it's, it's, it's great. The strip was a ghost town, and it just made us feel like we wanted to, to do our little piece to get back to a more normal existence. Vegas still needs convention visitors to fill hotels midweek and drive profits, and the uncertainty of COVID poses a big hurdle. If people aren't getting in cars, if they're not getting on planes and coming to Las Vegas or don't feel safe or comfortable, that's a problem. It will have an impact on a community that's dependent on 42 million visitors a year. But operators like Stevens are stressing the positives. I've been in Vegas for 15 years. I've never seen the level of bookings in my business career like what I've seen in the last eight weeks. I don't think there's any question. Vegas is going to be coming back strong. It's going to be stronger than it's ever been. Like the sign says, Las Vegas could be fabulous again. Anna Warner, CBS News, Las Vegas.